Sri Aurobindo on Om. He writes in volume 12, The word has its seed sounds, suggesting the eternal syllable of the Veda, Om. He spells it A-U-M. But in every other book, in all his other works, he spells it O-M. I found that interesting. Then he writes a note on the Chandogya Upanishad. Om is the syllable, and then in parentheses, the imperishable. One should follow after it as the upward song, parentheses again movement. For with Om one sings, parentheses, goes upwards. The Chandogya is to be a work in the right and perfect way of devoting oneself to the Brahman. Its subject is the Brahman, but the Brahman as symbolized in the Om the sacred syllable of the Veda, not therefore the pure state of existence only, but that existence in all its parts. Om is the symbol and the thing symbolized. In volume 13 of the Collected Works, he writes, the basic syllable Om, which is the foundation of all the perfect creative sounds of the revealed word. Om is the one universal formulation of the energy of sound and speech, that which contains and sums up, synthesizes and releases all the spiritual power and all the potentiality of Vak, speech, the goddess speech, and Shabda, sound, vibration, word. Again, in volume 13, Sri Aurobindo writes, the mantra of the divine consciousness brings its light of revelation. The mantra of the divine power, its will of effectuation. The mantra of the divine ananda is equal fulfillment of the spiritual delight of existence. All word and thought are an outflowing of the great Om. Om, the Word, the Eternal, manifest in the forms of sensible objects, manifest in that conscious play of creative self-conception, of which forms and objects are the figures, manifest behind in the self-gathered, superconscient power of the infinite. Om is the sovereign source, seed, womb of thing and idea, form and name. It is itself, integrally, the supreme intangible, the original unity, the timeless mystery, self-existent above all manifestation in supernal being. Om is the symbol of the triple Brahman, the outward looking, the inward of subtle and superconscient causal Purusha, conscious being, person. Volume 23, Om is the mantra, the expressive sound symbol of the Brahman consciousness. 
in its four domains, from the Turiya, the superconscient, the absolute, to the external or material plane. The function of a mantra is to create vibrations in the inner consciousness that will prepare it for the realization of what the mantra symbolizes and is supposed indeed to carry within itself. The mantra Om should therefore lead towards the opening of the consciousness to the sight and feeling of the one consciousness in all material things, in the inner being and in the supraphysical world, in the causal plane above, above now superconscient to us, and finally the supreme liberated transcendence above all cosmic existence. And in volume 24, describing someone's vision in the Triple Transformation, Sri Aurobindo writes, Om, and in parentheses, golden, rising to the sky, means the cosmic consciousness supramentalized and rising towards the transcendent consciousness. 